was crazy. Okay, that, that's going to be a little different. I was like, wow, that he wants to give all of his gifts to kids that don't have it. I wanted a baseball birthday party. I said, well, you know, that's an awful lot of kids to invite to a birthday party. You know, we're talking over 20-some kids in order to actually make two teams. 20 to 30 gifts was, like, a lot. I decided that I had too much... I had like a lot of stuff that I did not play with, so I thought that it would be nice to give some presents to other people. didn't take much convincing from either my wife or myself to have him do this. It was thrown out as an idea and he jumped on it right away. So I was very, very proud of him. I've been doing Kids to Kids for like eight years for my school. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Eight years ago, we started a little project called Kids to Kids Christmas. And it was designed to help children who probably weren't going to have a chance to um, experience the uh, blessings that some of us have in this room. So thank you. On behalf of Capital, on behalf of WTMJ, all we can say is we're so grateful and uh, thank you for the gifts and the toys because you're making a difference, a huge difference. Thank you guys. That's what this is all about. It is learning the gift of giving. dark frisbee with like glasses you can put on your head and they're like night vision glasses and it's got reflectors on the frisbee so you're like throwing it around at night. I got some remote control cars too. A new baseball glove, a couple footballs. So yeah, I, I was gonna have a bunch of really cool gifts. I was at his house. I saw a bunch of the toys and I was like, these kids are gonna be like, so happy. One of my friends at school, his name is Ty, he's like, um, okay, but I got you this really cool present that you're gonna really want, and dang it. So, that was the one hard part about it, but he, he got me that orange baseball bat. Yeah. That baseball bat is the thing that is on his mind all the time, nonstop. It's re it's really hard to do this, especially with that baseball bat in there. We need to get that baseball bat out of our house. It is so tempting to him. Can we get it all on the trip? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> the orange bat. <laughs> We're going up to Kids to Kids this afternoon and I'm taking um, a number of the boys that were either at his birthday party or are friends of his and we're going to volunteer there. Here, take it. You gotta put some in the back. 
I need to stay here for a while. Holy cow. Yeah, all my birthday presents are gone, but they're going to a good cause. Kids just really learning that it is a good thing to receive a gift, but it can be a better thing to give a gift. And that's really the, the message that we're trying to teach children. I could be having, I could be playing baseball right now with that orange baseball bat, but it's sort of sad that way, but in a way it's happy because I know that kids like me are going to be on Christmas morning like, Oh my gosh, a new baseball bat! Yeah, and it's got a wiffle ball connected to it, so they, they can like, play a bunch of baseball with that. So that makes me really happy about that. Until you actually give, whether it's of your time, or a gift to give to a child, or a food donation for a food pantry, or whatever it is, you never really know how good it makes you feel and how rewarding it is. It's um, it's a joy. It fills you up. I feel good inside. It's fun. I like helping other people. It's cool kind of helping other children out because I mean we have life pretty good. It's really neat to see those families when they come and pick up the toys. The, the excitement in the parents face to see that they're actually gonna have a Christmas for their children, where before they, they weren't sure how that was gonna ever happen, if it could happen. To be able to spread the feeling of the season and mix corporate and citizen and religious and secular feelings all in the same time and do such a great and eloquent job of it, it really makes it special and different than anything else charity-wise that happens Christmas time every year in this area. If other people hear this story, I hope that they don't want to donate because People can be, you can feel really good about yourself while making people feel happy. That's the essence of what this is all about, really. Yeah, um, and hopefully, you know, a young man named Garrett someday marches on and he says, you know, I'm going to give back even more and pay it forward, and, and, uh, and, and he's well on his way. It was just a lot, a lot of fun. I feel good. I want to have a birthday sometime like that. I think it's really cool. 